Hello, welcome to Lancaster Hi-Fi. I wanted to share with you something that I've been working on today, a repair that I appear to have made, and what went into that repair. Specifically, two days ago, or night before last, I was given a Sansui 881. The Sansui 881 was their top-of-the-line receiver from 1974 to 1976. But it is, I would say, their least popular top-of-the-line receiver, and that XX1 or that Model 1 or Number 1 line is probably the least well-known, least popular line of Sansui receivers. Nevertheless, Sansui, top-of-the-line in 1974, 60 watts per channel. I did quite a bit of cosmetic work on it yesterday. It's in pretty bad shape, or was in pretty bad shape. A lot of rust and a lot of nasty stuff going on on the faceplate, and I've been trying to deal with that. But that's not what I want to talk about today. Today I want to talk about what was wrong with it, because today I tested it out, didn't work, and I wanted to show you what exactly I fixed and how I came to the conclusion that the thing that needed to be replaced was replaced. So let's check it out. There we are. There it is on a bench on the bench. Uh, excuse me here. All right. Now over here we have the schematic. Zoom in on that. All right. So I looked at the output at the speakers and I got nothing. And so I started backtracking through the circuit. Now here we see the preamp circuit. Let's see, let me find my pointer here. Okay. So, signals coming in here. I checked at these switches, um, checked at the various switches on the input, you know, coming in through tape monitor one, tape monitor two. Um, I think this one is the mono versus stereo, or maybe that's the loudness. Mono versus stereo is down here. So I checked the integrity through all those switches. Actually, you know, found some issues. I had put some deoxid in these switches last night, uh, but they needed a little more. They needed a little more working to get going good. So got that. And then, um, but before that, I had checked the output at the output of the preamp over here, or maybe even over here and got nothing. So I went back to the beginning and tracked it forward. Now after I tell you what I did do and how I came to this conclusion and finding the thing that was wrong, I'll tell you what I probably should have done instead that might have taken me, <clears throat> might have gotten me to this the problem a little bit faster. Any, in any case, Checked then the input, of course, to the, you know, past the, I think this is the volume, um, balances uh, in here somewhere as well. And that seemed fine. Checked the output of this op amp here and got nothing. So, okay, nothing at the output of the op amp. So, signals coming into the op amp, it's not getting out. Now keep in mind that both channels were out, but, well, okay, just so both channels being out, what I should have done immediately was check all the power supply voltages everywhere. And uh, because, you know, if there's not a lot of things massively wrong, then Typically, only one channel will go out unless it's an issue with the power supply. 
But what I did do once I found no signal here was I checked the voltage here. That it, or no, here, the supply voltage to the op amp and found zero. And so that told me, okay, I'm not getting power supply voltage there. And so I backtracked. Uh, here's the 21 volts, comes down here, drops across a 560, but before that it drops across a 180 here. So I checked voltage here coming into the board and got that voltage there and then checked voltage on the other side of this resistor, this 180 ohm dropping resistor and got no voltage. You know, checked indeed that the uh, the resistor seemed to have failed open. And so that is the resistor that I replaced. And um, I replaced this component and I replaced this component. I replaced the resistor because it's bad. And I replaced this tantalum capacitor because I was in the area of the board, saw the tantalum capacitor, said, eh, let's get that out there, out of there and replace it with film because tantalum capacitors can fail catastrophically. They probably won't, but they could. Um, and uh, once I replaced that little resistor, and that was... Da -da -da. Let's back off here. Oops. Uh, that was right here. And, um, you know, I checked I checked some other resistors just to make sure, because this was a fusible resistor. Let me pick it up and show you it, because uh, all you could really see was its silhouette before. But there's the resistor, and um, it's, a it's a bit different than the rest in this unit. Um, and what that difference indicates to me is this is a fusible resistor. So I did a little more digging through this part of the board or, yeah, this part of the board here to see if there was a short that I should find. So I checked across the power, um, uh, checked the resistance across the supply voltages to this op amp here, uh, checked the transistor that's uh, in, so this is in the mic circuit, there's a, a mic input circuit that goes through a transistor that's up, up here, and uh, an op amp that's here, and both of those checked out fine and the resistors in the area checked out fine. That's when I replaced the tantalum capacitor with film. Um, having replaced the, uh, having replaced the resistor, the unit is now functioning properly. And uh, so I'm psyched to check it out. All right, I'll put back together and let's check it out. The other thing I wanted to share about this particular little repair, again, replace two components, uh, one of which was actually broken. And it took me four or five hours. Um, and that was, well, let's see, I think that I had put the faceplate back on after doing some cosmetic stuff last night. So, uh, but I hadn't put the top on. Anyway, it was already on my bench. Took me four or five hours to uh, to track down and fix that rip, that malfunction. Um, just to give you an idea of how long it takes me at least to fix gear, because 
I don't know. Some people seem to think that somebody like me ought to, you know, and I, you know, I, I, I wanted to touch on how I could have arrived at the problem maybe slightly sooner than I did. Um, but, you know, some people seem to think that, you know, a bit of experience makes me obviously way faster at these sorts of things than, I don't know, than seems reasonable to me. Anyway, <laughs> maybe you enjoyed the video. Maybe you learned something. Uh, I hope you did. If so, give me a subscribe. Give me a like. Give me a comment. Uh, what do you think of this Ansui 881? Um, this is literally the first time I've heard it, so kind of cool there. Have a good one, everybody. Talk to you later.